Yes. Today is the day. We're going to Hampton Hotel because we're going to Uncle Fat Daddy's house. I love his competitive eating challenges. He ate a limp hole before. Boo. And his name is... And his name is John C Well, Crab Dad. You scared the crap out of me. Why the hell are you wearing a Johnson mask? It ain't Halloween yet, dog. Ha 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 ha. It's a prank, bro. So anyways, are you ready to go to the Hampton Hotel? It's a very hot day today. I am hoping they have air conditioning in the room. Hell yes I am. I am so excited to see Uncle Fat Daddy. I wonder what he's going to eat this time. Maybe a whole loaf of Trump bread, made by Trump of course. I am so excited. I told him to eat my wallet, because I secretly overheard your mom on the phone saying she was getting me a wallet for me for Christmas. So, come on. Let's go. Oh my god, maybe we can ask Uncle Fat Daddy to eat Dora's haircut. It looks like Doris swam in a huge pool filled with crap, and someone tied a blue restraining order on her head. Well, well, well? Look who's talking, One Punch Kid. Well, says the person who went to Anime Con last week. You filthy weeaboo. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shut the hell up, both of you. Kalu, stop roasting your mother or we'll leave you behind for two whole nights. I know you don't want to miss Uncle Fat Daddy's eating challenges. Fine, sorry I got you triggered, Mom. It's cool like SoFlo Antonio. What's a SoFlo Antonio? Ha ha ha, forget it. Well, good news everyone. We have finally arrived at Hampton Hotel. This is my favorite hotel because I love their beers here. They're Hampton special. Ah, so delicious. Now, let's park the car and we'll go in. How can I help you guys today? Hi, we're looking for a hotel room with air conditioning. The weather is hot as hell outside. Okay, your room number is on the 13th floor, and your room number is 1301. Thanks. Well luckily, our luggage was brought to our room. It's hot as hell in here. I am going to turn the air conditioner on to full blast. There would you look at that. It's getting cooler in here already. Now let's go to Uncle Fat Daddy's house. We may be watching some crazy eating challenges today. I am going to eat this balloon. Helium is good for your well-being. That was good. Yo, what's good Galu family? You guys are all in time for my ultimate eating challenges. We cannot wait to see them. We've been waiting for this day for a while. Hell yeah senpai. So first I am going to eat a rubber tire. Rubber helps smoothen your throat. Don't ask me how, I ate 10 in one day, and my throat was as smooth as a baby's butt. Hell yes. That tire tasted extremely good. Damn. You are one hell of a legend. Your extreme eating challenges are dank, danker than Snoop Dogg's weed. Hey, Snoop Dogg's weed is danker than anything in life. Don't you ever disobey the dankness of Snoop Dogg's weed or I will eat you. Whoa, bro. I'm sorry. So, what are you going to eat next? It's cool, man. So, I am going to eat an entire vending machine. I've never have eaten one before, this is going to be exciting. Bro, that's savage as hell. You sure do have a high metabolism. 
How can you easily digest all of this stuff? Just takes practice. I am going to eat one more thing until I have to go on my 1785th date with this girl I have been dating. I am going to go all out on this challenge. I am going to eat a microwave. Damn. This is why we love you, Uncle Fat Addy. I hope you marry Addy Fat Mama sometime soon. Next year one will marry her, now I gotta go by. Well it's getting late. It's time to go back to the hotel. Well, it's time for bed. God damn it. This room is so cold. I am going to shut the air conditioner off. Oh no. The air conditioner fell out of the window. I literally just broke a $400 air conditioner. My parents will be so pissed. Your parents will be so pissed about what? Talk right now. Look, Dad. The room was getting too cold, so I shut the air conditioner off. But I accidentally knocked it out the window. I seriously didn't mean to do it. Are you like cold-blooded or something? The room is hot as hell in here. Your pathetic excuses don't work on me. Since it did this, you are grounded for 15,000 years. I'm driving you back home, and coming back here. You will have to be home alone for two more days. I have camera installed in your room, so I'll know if you leave your room. There's food and drinks in your room so you can survive in there. To pee, I gave you a bucket. So, let's go into the car right now.